and we're back for night two of the first week of stage three of the Overwatch League. Let's go. The first match of the night was between the Florida Mayhem and stage two champs, the New York Excelsior. The night was kicked off at Volkskaya Industries, and Florida was up first to bat. They managed to complete their attack in overtime, leaving no time in their bank. New York was able to follow suit in their attack run, but notably had over five minutes in their bank to spare, allowing them to go into a second round and grab just a single extra point to take the first map win. The second map of the night saw both teams making their league debut in Blizzard World. The Mayhem were still fighting strong to try and continue some of the momentum they built up in Stage 2, but were only able to take one point in their attack. They lost Map 2 when New York successfully took two points in their attack run, creating a convincing lead for the Excelsior. Control was next in the lineup, and this round saw some back and forth between the two teams. The Mayhem debuted Saya Player, who took over as Tracer for the round. New York was able to lock down both points A and B, and with the map win, a match win was secured. The final map of the first matchup was a Route 66 showdown. The Mayhem put in a valiant effort. They managed to put some points on the board, but unfortunately for them, New York has their defensive and offensive plays down to a science, and cleanly swept Florida. The next match of the night featured the Boston Uprising, the Philadelphia Fusion, and Overwatch's own Rocky Balboa, Snillo. The first map of the match was Volkskaya Industries, and the Fusion had the odds stacked against them, as the Uprising had a 5-0 winning streak. It was clear Boston had no intention of breaking their streak, and their defensive prowess demonstrated just that. The Uprising took map one, two points to one. Map 2 is another introduction to Blizzard World, with both teams having a chance to start an early map dominance. Stage 2 runners-up took control with 4 points to 3 win over the Uprising. Philadelphia's moves tied up the game, one all. Control maps for Stage 3 have shown to be fairly one-sided so far, and the Ilios battle between these two teams was no exception. The Uprising took the lead with their performance on this map, with a point A win that offered the Fusion no mercy, and a point B that, while closer, sealed the deal. Route 66 was where the Fusion had to redeem themselves and remind the Uprising of their standings in the Stage 2 Finals. The Fusion went on attack first and grabbed two points. The Uprising followed suit, and a second round was needed. The Fusion went the extra mile and tied up the game yet again, sending the match into a map 5. The final showdown between these two teams was on Oasis. The Fusion may have come off a stage too high with their second place finish, but the Uprising's takedown of them proved that what happens in stage two stays in stage two. Boston won both points A and B and earned themselves the match win, three maps to two. The final match of the night was between the London Spitfire and Houston Outlaws. Coming off of their break, both teams had a chance to make a splash in Stage 3. The first map took place on Anubis. London demonstrated its offensive prowess with a clean take of two points. The Outlaws struggled on their attack run, with their first point won at the last moment and their second point non-existent. The Spitfire took map one and an early lead. The wild card map of the night. The outcome of Blizzard World was up in the air. The Spitfire had a chance to win with their momentum from map one but were stopped short in their attack, only securing one point. The Outlaws took advantage of this and pulled out a map two win, tying up the match. Nepal was yet another control map that followed the early map three trend of one-sided control wins. The team that benefited from this one-sidedness ended up being the Outlaws, who held on against the strong opposition from the Spitfire. Houston went up 2-1, and map four became crucial for the Spitfire. The beginning of Route 66 looked grim for the London Spitfire. They needed to secure as many points as they could in order to have a fighting chance of going to a map 5. Their attack run only gained them one point and it looked as though the Outlaws had a smooth pack to victory. The Spitfire came out of the woodwork, however, and stopped the Outlaws from taking a single point and pushing the match to a map 5. The final map of the night was a tiebreaker on Oasis. 
The outlaws took a strong lead by taking point A, with the Spitfire only taking a small percentage against them. The Spitfire took a commanding lead of point B, but the night was an outlaw's night, led by Linkser on Tracer, and won the match 3-2. Stage 3 is off to an exciting start, with multiple 5-map matches, making us think that the Overwatch League is still going to deliver after all these weeks. Keep up with us every week to stay up to date on all the action. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. From our house to yours, keep it here at the Game House for all your sports and esports needs.